Don't forget that I'm giving away an entire sneaker collection of shoe trees. All you have to do to join is subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications, leave a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below saying I want to win the giveaway. Hey yo, what's good you hypies? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications because I upload fashion videos, everything from streetwear to designer and you don't want to miss it. Anyways, today I'm going to be getting into the sneakers that you have to buy in June and I will tell you why as well. So we're going to go in order to start off with this weekend. We do have the Travis Scott 4s and the Supermoon Yellow 500s. So the Travis Scott 4s obviously is pretty self-explanatory. You do want to buy these because they are Travis Scott sneakers and there aren't that many in the market right now other than the Air Force 1s and they are pretty fire, which there is going to be another colorway dropping pretty soon. Hopefully we see it sometime this month and if we don't I mean at least we have one Travis Scott sneaker and then hopefully we'll have them for July as well And this is pretty much gonna be the only collab that's gonna be a hype through Nike because it is the last person that they really have That's keeping Nike hype other than off-white of course and I'm talking about an individual person not a whole brand So yes, Travis Scott is pretty much replacing Drake's spot as far as a hype artist go The next thing on the list is the Supermoon Yellow 500s. Of course, this is a Yeezy. Yeezys are usually hype However, I did make a video stating that Yeezys are dead and you guys can find a link to that right over here And yes, that still is true. That doesn't change. There is a large amount of quantities however people love Kanye so people are still gonna buy his sneakers however the resale is going to be very low on these it will probably be even lower than the blushes next up we do have the Nike zoom fly collab with off-white and the reason I think this is very hype is because it obviously is off-white collab not only that but the World Cup is definitely the most hype event in the entire world because we only get it once every four years people are always waiting and hoping that the country will make it and of course that's what makes it hype and now not only do we have an event but we have sneakers coming out for this certain event and on top of that they're collabing with a hype company such as off-white of course which makes it that much more hype however don't get me wrong these zoom flies will not have the same resale as the first ones that released because those four are part of the 10 these are just part of the world cup but i'm pretty sure that they will have the resale because they are off-white collab and off-white collabs right now are really killing the game up next we do have another nike collab and apparently Nike is actually killing it this month. There really isn't that many Adidas. I think there's only like two on the whole list. So staying on topic, Nike is collabing with Levi's once again. The first time they collab, they dropped the blue denim force. This time they're dropping a white denim force and a black denim force. And they are actually making them for toddlers as well. So you guys can be expecting some kind of resale, maybe around the same as the last ones. Next up on the list, we do have the off-white Prestos. Of course, it's another off-white collab. Like I said, off-white is killing it. It's the hypest thing right now. It's more hype than Yeezys which is insane because I never even thought that would ever happen, but hey, here we are now, it's 2018. Things change like that. The sneakers are dropping in two colorways as well. Oh my God, that's crazy. I actually like, that's three sneakers that have in two colorways. Two of them are off-whites and one of them is a collab with Levi's, which is insane. Like Nike's actually trying to come back on top and it looks like they are, like they're, kind of coming back in the race. Adidas is kind of like falling over with just Yeezys because they're overproducing them, but they do have Jake coming into the brand, so let's see where that goes. So going back to the Nike and Off-White collab, they are dropping the Prezos in a black and white colorway. As you guys see me speak in the video before, I do have a video and you guys can find the link right here. Those are gonna be extremely hype as we've seen in the past with the first colorway. We can expect those to have around the same resale price, if not a little less because there is two colorways dropping, but however, I don't know the exact quantity releasing, so I can't really speak on that right now. But you can expect them to drop on June 21st. And just two days later, we have the Off-White collab with the Jordan 1s. UNC and yes, I have them right here. I was able to get them on the surprise drop back in May and they were supposed to drop June 9th this weekend along with the Cactus Jacks and also the Supermoon Yellows, but that was postponed, I think, due to the fact that they dropped these as a surprise. But don't worry, guys. You guys do have another chance of getting them on June 23rd. And, of course, these are hype. These are off-white. And the detail on the sneaker is insane. Like, I see why off-whites have so much resale. I was amazed by the details when I was reviewing it. And you guys can also check out the review on my channel. I will leave a link to it right here as well. Last but not least, we finally have another Adidas drop. After talking about all these Nike collabs, Adidas is finally coming back with another drop. There's spreading it out so much and it's not even going to be worth it anymore. I mean, obviously they're going to sell out, they're going to make their money, but their sneakers won't have the same hype that they used to. And these sneakers that I recommend you guys buy, if you guys are a Kanye fan, not just for the hype, because like I said, the hype is dying completely, is the Butter 350 V2s. They will be dropping June 30th in a large amount of quantities. I think that's going to be the easy with the most quantity up to that date. So no, I don't expect you guys to resell it, but I do expect you guys to buy it because obviously it's going to be hype and I know you guys like Yeezys. Like there's some of you guys that still won't listen to me and you guys will still buy Yeezys even though the hype is dead on them somewhat, still kind of there kind of dying down though like completely dying down resales is going down just look at stock x you can just see the market chart just plummeting going down it's not not terribly but it is going down if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash that thumbs up button and also make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't mess out on videos like this in the future because i do come out with videos like this every single day from monday through friday and i do apologize i did not upload yesterday my car broke down on the way home from school and that was just it was a terrible day i was literally trying to get my car home for five hours and that was just a complete mess i was so dead after being in the sun for so long 
and doing nothing, really. Couldn't make a video, I was dead, I was dead. I, I passed out as soon as I got home. So I do apologize for that, guys. Today's fan of the day does go to Anthony Holguin. If you wanna be fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, and leave a positive comment down below. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your bar, Sneaker signing out.